so now I'm recording in GoToMeeting, and uh, I'm going to demonstrate for folks the basic use of our Natural Reader program. At the Academy, everyone should see Natural Reader on their desktop. There's mine down there. On some computers, you'll see it listed as Free Natural Reader. We'll give, give that a double click to open. If you're prompted with a security warning, we'll click Run. Yes, we do trust the software. Then we'll just wait a moment. It'll probably talk to us when it opens up. Thank you, Microsoft Mary. Microsoft Mary tells us all about it. Now, the thing about Natural Reader is it, the basics of it are very simple. We bring up a document, a document or any text for that matter any text that you can highlight. If we highlight some text, we click play and we should hear that text. No text selected. Let's try that again, shall we? Service in the airline industry over the past 10 years, airlines worldwide had found competition to be more intense than ever. Okay. So I had highlighted just this first section, and it read it out loud. If I highlight more and click play, we'll hear more. As a result, they have had to cut back on services that were once taken for granted. You might notice that my computer sounds sort of like a robot. We have the free version of Natural Reader. Uh, if you really wanted to invest uh, $200 or so, you could get the full version of Natural Reader, which would have nice human voices. But because we wanted to have this on 50 computers, we thought the freeway was the way to go. This is excellent software as far as comprehension goes. Think about it. When you're reading, sometimes, especially when the text is at a higher level, it can be a little bit more difficult to understand what's going on if you're just reading with your eyes. And hearing it can help. When it's very fine print, or if you have difficulty tracking across the lines yourself, you can hear it and get some benefit out of it. Basically, if you have reading difficulty, hearing can be a great way to supplement your reading. We can also use the program for proofreading, though. After you've typed something, you've done your spell check, you say it's great. But listening to it, you can catch some errors that you might not have otherwise caught. Let me get the rest of this document and see if we can find the embarrassing error. Let's listen. It costs extra to check your bags now when you used to be able to bring your whole wardrobe. Once, it was standard to receive a meal in flight, but now we are lucky even to get coffee and snakes on a plane. Okay, coffee and snakes on a plane. Clearly, there's some problem right here with snakes. In the spell check, you're not going to notice that. Snakes is a perfectly valid word to put there as far as the rules of English grammar go and the rules of spelling go. But what's happened is the person who typed this ran their spell check. The spell check caught nothing, and they said, great, we're done. If you listen to your document, though, as an added step in your proofreading, if you listen to it, you may catch some embarrassing errors like that. The, uh, the full version of this Natural Reader program can do a lot more. I'm not worried about it doing a lot more. The basics that we're going to have, just select the text and click Play. For a lot of people, when they first open Natural Reader, they'll see this full screen version. The full screen version, I think, takes up a whole lot of space it doesn't need to take up. If you see this full screen, I recommend clicking the floating bar option down in the lower right. When you click that floating bar option, then it turns into this nice little natural reader, which I think is definitely preferable. There we go. Natural reader in a nutshell.